going on everybody? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. On today's video, I'm gonna do a review of our Ohio Steel Poly Dump Cart. Guys, this is the poly swivel dump cart made by Ohio Steel. It has a 1,250 pound uh, weight capacity. It holds 15 cubic feet of material. And if you watch our channel long, you know we've uh, worked with Ohio Steel on a couple different uh, products they've sent us. And this dump cart was the second one. And we did a, I did an unboxing kind of first impression type video right after I got it back at the first of the year. And I didn't want to do like a full blown review until I'd had it for a few months and really used it and could really speak to it. We've used this thing, we'll talk more about it at the end of the video, but we use this thing on multiple projects here around the homestead and at our deer lease. Um, we have used it to haul uh, wood chips, dirt, tree branches, deer stands, all kinds of stuff. So I feel like we've really put it to the test and can really speak to uh, the quality of the Thing now and uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to go check one out they sell them at tractor supply and um, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed uh, I'm gonna tell you the good and the bad most of it's good a couple critiques I can give it but let's go over it so guys the first thing that kind of stands out on this uh, to me on this dumped cart is the hitch this hitch works on a, tr on a tractor or four-wheeler like like this but you can also slide this portion forward and you can actually put this onto the ball of a truck or a car or tractor or whatever. Which is, is pretty handy, you know, especially like for if you got a hitch on your, uh, your lawnmower, it'd be better to haul it with that. It's very uh, convenient either way. So the next thing on this that I really like is this foot release to dump the bed. That is super handy. You know, a lot of them have a, a, some kind of a handle to release them. Uh, just being able to stick your foot down there. It's like that. Pretty slick. So the next thing, once you raise it, which is pretty convenient, is it actually swivels. So it will swivel all the way around like that and then vice versa, like that. You know, I honestly wasn't sure how much that swivel function, how, um, how much I would use that or, or if it was really something that was needed. But there's been multiple times where I've tried to back into somewhere and dump something and you can't get quite where you want it, but you can swivel that thing around and dump it, you know, get it right where you want it with that swivel, which is uh, pretty convenient. So the next thing that I'll show y'all that uh, kind of sets this thing apart from a lot of um, dump carts is just how wide the wheelbase is on it and how high the clearance is on it. 
if you look, the wheels on this thing actually stand out a little bit wider than our four wheeler. It has really high clearance. So if you're out in a rough area with rocks, sticks, whatever, you, you can get over it and not have this thing you know, hanging up on them. One thing that that, um, that wide clearance really came in handy for is at our deer lease. Um, we were at our deer lease a few weeks ago, setting up stands, and I had that thing loaded down with two ladder stands, a couple sacks of corn, a weed eater, a, four, or a, weed eater, a chainsaw, a cooler, um, that thing was loaded down. I had it strapped down and I went down some probably uh, 45 degree angles 30 to 45 degree angles and With that thing having such a wide wheelbase um, it, it there was no problem with it tipping over it, it went went down perfectly fine and stayed everything stayed on the trailer and low to the ground no problems and then kind of the same thing with the with the high clearance you know just going especially in some place like our deer lease just a lot of rocks a lot of uh logs things like that um had no problem going over it with some of the other dump carts i mean the the, the ground clearance on them is like six inches and you'll dra you'll catch and drag everything you know especially when you're hauling some weight in there you'll drag rocks with you and all kinds of stuff i had that happen but uh not a problem with this so the next thing is just the, the actual bed part of the dump cart. This bed, most of the, you can look at it in proportion to our four wheeler. Most other dump cart beds, you could probably fit inside of this bed. It is significantly bigger than all your other smaller dump carts. It also has these pockets here. So if you were gonna be hauling brush or something like that, you could build you some uh, sides on it, you know, and make it, um, you know, higher and be able to fit more in there without it falling off. And one of the last things is, is the tires. As you can see it still has all the little rubber things on it. I've pulled this thing quite a bit. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't rubbed more of them off of there, but majority of it's been on dirt grass stuff like that that's probably why but these are heavy duty um tires these aren't like the little chintzy ones that come on most dump carts um very heavy duty um gonna take on you know more thorns and things like that um than than a traditional type tire on a dump cart would so we've used this cart on multiple projects i the 1250 pound weight capacity, I don't know that I've actually got it to that much. I know when I had the stands and stuff at the deer lease, I might've been close, but I don't know for sure. Um, but had no problems with it at all, carrying the load, like I said, staying a little close, close to the ground. And then one question I, I've got to ask on our other video um, that I wanted to answer was, somebody asked on the, the speed rating on it, like how fast you can go with it. I don't recall seeing that in the instructions. Maybe I missed it. But I did have it going almost as fast as this four wheeler would go on a county road at our deer lease, and no problems at all. Tracked right behind it, um, but definitely look at the instruction manual, you know, to see what the rating is. But um, no problem at all. You know, he, I think the person was asking about hauling it. I don't know what they were going to haul it behind, like a golf cart or something, but. Uh, and they were saying they were asking if it could go fast enough. Like I said, I think 30, 40 miles an hour, um, you know, you can do that no problem. I have and didn't have any issue. All right, so the one thing I, I am probably going to change if I can find one on this dump cart, it's not a super big deal, but uh, let me take it off here and I'll show you. Guys, here's a little bit better look at that hitch and how it moves. But this is the pin and the cotter key or whatever you want to call this that comes with it. The only thing I may do, next time I'm at Tractor Supply, I'm gonna see if they have one. I know they make some of these pins like this that have a built-in piece that like, that it, it goes parallel with it, but then you can stick it through and then it comes out like this and uh, holds it in place that way. That's the only thing I, I, would, I would change. I may, I may pick one up. And the only reason is, is the kids, I mean, the kids use this trailer as much as I do. They had a they had a lemonade stand in the neighbor's driveway over here. They loaded all their lemonade stuff on there, went over there. Um, today, 
I, I bet you they put two miles on that car today. Um, one, Easton's buddy was here, and all, uh, Reed Easton and his buddy were pulling each other and would have two of them in the cart. The other one was on the four wheeler of the lawnmower and they were pulling them around the yard, I mean, all day today. So they use this cart as much as I do. And this pin has gotten lost once, twice. We found it both times, but it's gonna get lost and we won't be able to find it. So either gonna buy one of those pins like I was talking about, or the next time I'm a tractor supply, like I said, I may just grab a handful of these extra ones so we have them on hand. But that's the only really critique I have of it. The engineers and the people who put this, uh, you know, built this cart and, and put it into existence um, know their way around products like this. This is meant to work. This is not one of those little cheap carts that you see at Home Depot, places like that. Um, this is a workhorse. If you're on a farm, a ranch, a hunting outfit, um, anything like that where you need something to, to haul materials, haul stuff, uh, to dump this thing is a workhorse that's going to last a long time so big thanks to ohio steel for sending this to us um but i'm giving you my honest review and i think this thing is great so these are sold exclusively at tractor supply i'll put a link in the description y'all go check them out and then another video i'm going to do we are in the next week or two going to buy some bulk feed for our meat chickens uh, if, if you guys don't know, we've got uh, about 35 meat chickens that we're raising right now and feed prices are so expensive, we're gonna buy some bulk feed, probably buy um, like a ton or something like that. And may, maybe, I don't know, maybe two, I don't know. We're gonna buy a lot. So, and I'm gonna try, if I have time, I'm gonna load this dude down and get it some serious weight in it and see how it handles and, and do a video on that just to show y'all. You know, finding something that weighs 1200 pounds to be able to put in there is not, not super easy or I'd have done it on this video. But, but yeah, watch out for that video. And you know, around here, we're not super, you know, we don't abuse stuff on purpose, but we're not easy on things either. Um, we put them, put them to work. And uh, Ohio still makes quality products and, and we've been very thrilled with them so far. So, all right guys, like I said, link in the description. Y'all comment below, uh, do y'all, Y'all have one of these, you're gonna get one. And then also, let us know about the lawn sweeper. That video is doing really well, had a lot of interaction on it. Um, seems to be a, a popular subject, so uh, let us know. Thank y'all so much for watching. We appreciate the support, and we'll see y'all again.